In this exercise, we're going to add more interest and intensity to our type by animating a flickering glow without using any keyframes. To start, let's look at how this graphic is built. Layer one is red type. If I turn that visibility off, you can see it's got a black drop shadow. Under there, it has a white outline. Under that, I have a burst. And under there is our background. Now I'll turn the visibility of all these layers back on and I wanna change the white to a glow. So let's select layer three, the POW white layer, and then go up under the effect menu, go to blur and sharpen and choose fast box blur. Change the blur radius setting to a value of seven and you can see now we've got a nice blurry glow. To create animation, instead of adding keyframes, we'll add an expression. On Windows, hold down Alt. On Mac, hold down Option. And click on the stopwatch next to the blur radius to automatically add the expression. Notice now when we go to the timeline here, under blur radius, it says expression. On the right, I have a text editing area. And rather than clicking inside of there, I'm just automatically going to start typing. And I'm going to add a wiggle expression. So I'll start by typing the word wiggle. W-I-G-G-L-E. And then we'll choose a left paren, and I want it to wiggle 20 times a second, so I'll type 20, and then I'll press comma, and I only want it to wiggle the value up or down about five points. So I'll say five, and then let's choose the right paren here and click anywhere outside of this white line to set the wiggle expression. Now, if we press the space bar, you'll notice the glow is actually wiggling. And if I press the space bar again, it'll stop playback. Now, that's one way to create an expression, write it from scratch. Another way is to actually have one parameter of any layer or effect get driven by another one. So what we'll do is adjust the rotation of the drop shadow based on the intensity of the blur radius. So I'll select layer two and press R to open its rotation. Now, if you notice next to rotation, if we go over to the parent link column, indented here is a pick whip and that's for the rotation. I want this rotation value to match the blur radius. So I'll click on the pick whip, hold my mouse down and drag and point it to the blur radius. And when I let go, this is automatically going to create an expression. And I know an expression has been applied because I can see the numbers turn red. Also, to the left of the keyframe button here, there is an arrow. So if we open the arrow here, you can see there's an expression to the rotation. And it's saying in this composition's layer, POW white, we're going to look at the effect for the fast box blur based on the blur radius. So notice they match perfectly. If I press the space bar, it's gonna go ahead and rotate at the same intensity as the glow. Now, this looks a little rough. I don't want it to rotate nearly as much, but I still want it to rotate in sync with the wiggle in the glow. So I'll press the space bar to stop playback. And I'll click once anywhere in the type here for the expression for the rotation. That will select all the letters in the type and I'll click to the right. Then I'll use the forward slash button and type 10. And what I'm saying is I want this expression to be divided by 10. So it's only gonna be one tenth as strong as the blur radius. So when I click outside of there, notice this is set to 8.1 and here now it's 0.8. So if I press the space bar again, you can see now I have my rotation flickering at the same velocity, just not nearly as much. So as you can see, expressions allow you to create dynamic animation quickly without the use of keyframes.